same, that people understand for the first time, Father, what is really happening when you warn about the rising of the dead. Tell me when you're ready. All right, we're ready. You can Jerusalem start. Jerusalem HaMashiach is fed up. A prophecy was given to me on August 7th, 1998. It is a warning about the counterfeit of the rising of the dead that shall happen in the Great Tribulation when the two witnesses are killed. When they come back to life again, also the dead in Christ rise first. That is the two witnesses, and that will be all those who were martyred at that time. And then we which are alive will be caught up to meet Yahushua in the air. That is all those who are walking holy at that time, and especially the Revelation 7 bride. Red Smokey, a.k.a. Smoked Zombie, oh. a.k.a. Control Cult, Bruce, you're going to wish you were a smoked zombie when God's done with you. You mocked this long enough. Darlene Russell tried to explain, and she got part of it right. It is a demon that will enter in, and as in the days of Noah, so it shall be again. But this time it shall even be more different, for the demon shall come from the bottomless pit. Prophecy 21. Are you ready for a shock? Gabriel has already blown his horn. And before I continue, I want to repent to Yahushua openly. There's been a few prophecies where I have refused to release it, saying I will test the spirit that speaks. Please give me proof that you are really speaking this to me. This was the first time I'd ever done it. I'd been having zombie dreams. I ignored them. My young son was having zombie dreams. I ignored them. And to get my attention, the next day, Yahushua gave me this prophecy. But I still wouldn't release it. And I said, I'm testing the spirit that speaks. People will laugh and they will mock me for this. I don't believe in zombies. For that is the only word that I can describe that a zombie is somebody who's walking dead. And Yeshua, who I was calling Jesus at the time, after all, it was 1998, said to me, I will give you three witnesses for an amount of two or three witnesses established. Go into your email, choose, and I will show you who to choose. Three names. So actually, I didn't choose. He'd already chosen. He just showed me. And he said, choose this one, this one, this one. And they were men that I had never, I did not know. They had written me and told me what a blessing this ministry was. That's as much as I knew. He said, write them back. Ask for a phone number. Say that God had chosen them to listen to a prophecy that I refused to release unless I received confirmation. So therefore I obeyed. And I still remember how frightened and embarrassed I was that day how I tried to make idle chit-chat, and finally I took a deep breath, and I started reading the prophecy that I am going to read now. And as Yah is my witness, this prophecy never would have been released if it hadn't been for these three men that, sad to say, I no longer even know their names, but Yah does. And all of them said, this is God speaking. He has given a warning. And I do not claim to understand everything that is ever given to me in a prophecy, for I am only his mouthpiece. I am not God. I only know the words he puts in my mouth. I write down or I speak. I learn right along with everybody else. But I do know that people who pick apart these prophecies with their feeble brains, their educated fools, like Crossway, OKC, and Bruce, who now is Control Cults, and was Red Smokey, a.k.a. Smoke Zombie. <laughs> they think they can figure this out with their brain? When it's the Holy Spirit that gives interpretation to any word that is spoken. So now, I am going to read Prophecy 21 under a new anointing, because I'm angry. I'm angry because God's word is being mocked, and Yahushua is more angry than ever. For he doesn't do anything without revealing his secrets to the prophets. Always a prophet is told what will happen before judgment comes. And the Bible says a true prophet is a friend of Yah. And I count it a privilege that I am persecuted for Yahushua's namesake. And a prophecy given to me in 1998. I have been bashed and trashed and smashed. But you know what? They're not my words. It's not my revelations. 
and you enemies, should you live long enough, after what you've all done, you shall be there. You shall see this. In the name of Yushua HaMashiach, I decree it, because it's his word. Are you ready for a shock? Gabriel has blown his horn. Daniel 12, 1. At that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. That's all this ministry is about, is reaching the souls for Yahushua's namesake. So those of you who mock and scoff, just know this. These are not my words. They were given August 7th, 1998. Shout it from the internet. Shout it from the housetops. Proclaim it in the streets and churches and radio and television. And now I'm going to say YouTube. Yahushua HaMashiach is on the way. Gabriel has blown his trumpet. The sound waves have been blocked with the raging battle that is going on in the heavenlies now. Michael and Satan and the angelic hosts fight. Good against evil, but good always triumphs. There are those that have heard the chauffeur horn and those that have not. Yet I tell you I have given the warning to those that have heard the horn. To Gabriel's horn has only been heard by a few thus far. It is only to prepare my bride, for her groom doth come. Do not be concerned that you have not heard the chauffeur horn of Gabriel yet, for it is yet for an appointed time. Even the sound waves can only be blocked for an appointed time. For am I not the one that knows how far heaven is from the earth? Even the calculations of this I have preordained. Quickly do what I have ordained and called you to do. Those that I have blessed financially when I come back, and find you have been storing up your money for a rainy day and letting the prophets and apostles go without, that are to speak forth the prophetic words around the world and tell of my coming and the need to get ready, woe be unto those that have done this. Woe be unto those that have muzzled or tried to muzzle or discourage or hindered my apostles and prophets in speaking forth. Woe be out of those that have mocked and abused my apostles and prophets for speaking this forth. You have been warned. Now tell others. I told my handmaiden, Elizabeth Sherry Elijah, this first. And I told her to test the spirit that speaks and tell others gradually. She would have the confirmation she sought from those she knew not. But I knew they had ears to hear. This went against her doctrine and beliefs. She was taught when Gabriel sounded the trumpet, then you which are living will be caught up to meet me in the air. This is true, but what you don't know is revelations I now reveal through this handmaiden. It will go against your religion, yes, and your doctrines, but my words are faithful and true. There is a time lapse between these events. First Gabriel sounds a chauffeur. Then a great war in the heavenlies that this earth is already seeing. The lightning and hearing the roar of my thunder. This earth is already feeling the cataclysmic repercussions like a woman given birth. The heavens are given birth to the son of Yahweh is coming again. The heavens convulse as a woman given birth. The earth shall see and feel these contractions just as a woman given birth. There shall be hurricanes and tornadoes and volcanoes and earthquakes, and they shall become greater in proportion as my coming gets closer. You have always had these things true, but now you will see a change in the atmosphere, for I alone am Almighty God Yahweh, and I will prove you cannot trust the calendar as to what season will appear. Take note of the planets as I shift 
what you have believed and show what you have not yet seen. Take note of the sun and the moon and the stars. For again, I have surprises in store for this earth. I will prove I alone am almighty Yahweh. I will provide. I shall no longer be mocked. That which the heathen said is impossible. I will show with almighty Yahweh all things are possible. The heathen's God shall crumble to debris. The earth will open up and swallow Buddha. I will show what puny gods the heathens have put their trust in. I shall have no other gods before me. Those worshipping up die with their gods unless they repent today. Tomorrow may be too late. You have been warned. Anything you put before I, Yahweh, and Yahushua Hamashiach is a god. Be it a person, a place, or a thing. Anything you love more than me, I will remove. They am one plainly state, I am a jealous god. You shall see me fight and destroy my enemies. I will separate those that belong to me in their mind, body, spirits, and souls. I know who truly worships Yahushua and truly has the Raqqa Kodesh Holy Spirit to prove it resides in the earthly vessels. I am not deceived by repetitious words or actions or a religion. I have been mocked, and all that is holy has been mocked, and my name is damned, cursed, continually on your airwaves, in songs, on television, and in homes, even where my children dwell, in a country that is set apart from my glory, a tiny infant, and yet so bold and brass, as to say to the Creator, in God we trust, and yet mock me by not allowing my Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit, to be in their schools, courts, or government. I will show the Supreme Court who alone is supreme. I will show America what happens to a baby that says, go away, I don't need this Father Yahweh anymore. I will show America and use her for an example, for I have saved my worst for last. Your punishment is being stored up. The eagle will devour the country it was to protect. Oh, oh, but I can hear my babies, my true babies, my children, both babe and mature, both who eat the meat and still suckle at the milk of my breast. And they say, not me, surely not me. I live in America. What will become of me? Tears stream from some of your eyes in fear. Others blink away the tears. Here is what I say to those who have my real Kodesh and put me first and are not ashamed of the name of Yahushua are being called born again. The Ruach HaKodesh filled Christians. Listen closely, and those that know my voice will feel a peace that passes all understanding, and know that it is I, your master, Abba Yahweh and Yahushua HaMashiach, speaking forth out of this handmaiden to this world. Here is what your Savior, Yahushua, speaks to his children, filled with my Ruach HaKodesh. Listen closely, and tell all who will listen. As in the days of Moses, so it shall be again. I will separate the Israelites and the Egyptians. My blessings and my curses. Blessings to those that obey me. Curses to those that disobey me. Did I not provide a place for them when the evil Pharaoh made it impossible to live there in the heathen land? Is this not also happening now in America? Do you not also see the evil Pharaohs arising in the form of government, taking away your Christian freedoms, passing laws that says you cannot speak against that which I call an abomination, forcing you to pay for these abominations with tax money? I did not decree for you to pay. Lifestyles, I have stated plainly in my word, are an abomination unto I, Yahweh. You're living in a country in America where my name is constantly mocked and cursed. The damnation is only falling back upon the ones damning my name for profit. I will not forgive you for this, you actors who do not shed tears of remorse and confess before the people that you have sinned. Did I not provide a safe place for Lot who fled? Only Lot's wife who looked back was destroyed. For she wanted the lifestyle she was fleeing, so I gave her the same reward. Destruction! Did I not provide a safe place for Noah? Why would I not provide a safe place for my children, who are filled with my Ruach HaKodesh? 